video, I found the most gold I've ever found. In this video, I beat that and found my biggest gold nugget yet. That's my biggest nugget I've ever found. I hope you enjoy. Yeah! Right when I got to the river, the first thing I noticed was that this river's a little dark. I made my way upstream just to see what was there. And I did find a little crack that had our first piece of gold, but I'm accidentally shooting in wide, so it might be harder to see. I found another tiny piece of gold and then something completely different. So interesting story, right when I got in the river I smelled something funky, like there was a rotting animal or something. I just found it. I just found a goat. Moo. Must have fell down from up there and got stuck. Oh no. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Go, go, go. It's okay. It's okay. Oh buddy. The only way I could rescue this one is by grabbing her by the horns and helping her through the water. Come on. Moo. Go rescue. There you go. There you go. Good. She is very malnourished and may still not survive, but we're giving her the chance. No, don't fall. Stop. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Once we set her on our way, we were back to the gold. Don't see that every day. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. I had a lot of trouble looking for the right catch points in the bedrock. I had to move a lot of boulders, but eventually found this crevice that ran across the river. But it wasn't until I started following this crevice that I was going to discover my biggest chunk of gold yet. But before we get into it, I would love to let you know that over 70% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Polly. If you enjoy these adventures, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future video. So using your leg arms is one of the highest levels of gravel moving you can do. Only the most elite of gold prospectors use this ancient method to remove stupid overburden. Working above me is Darren, who's working a beautiful crevice that runs right down where I'm working. And because we didn't bring a gold pan, he would give me dirt from the crevice and I would snipe the pieces of gold in it using his snuffer bottle. I like it a lot. Every single boulder you see in this river is very heavy, so it takes a lot of time to get anywhere. But very soon after, I found the last little bit and I found it. bigger underwater but I got the biggest nugget I ever found. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Point? Yeah! yeah. I am just blown away. Holy so I know most of you just want me to hurry up and grab it but these size nuggets are so rare that I really just wanted to enjoy this moment. I never thought I would see something like that. I've been trying to find one over nine grams and hey, I'm happy for the rest of my life with my nine grammar But with gold fever you just want to you always want to beat it right and you, you, you always chase that but Oh, yeah, this is gonna be a monster Holy Of course being that excited I'm not too focused on pointing the camera in the right direction <laughs> what do you think? <sighs> Over nine? I'd say 20 grams. 20 grams? Yeah. <laughs> they look so big underwater, but that is a huge chunk of gold. <laughs> oh, wow. Absolutely awesome. 
not even at the bottom of this crack. Let's go deeper. Finding a piece of gold like that is a very rare thing to happen. But when you do come across them, there is almost always more pieces around. I think I found another guy, but it's a lot smaller. I think it's gold. Cool. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna try digging it out. Again, because I'm shooting in wide, everything will look further away, smaller, and just harder to see. It's gold, baby! I of course don't have tweezers with me, so I'm gonna take my gloves off and see if I can pick it up. There we are. A nice piece of gold. Cool. So, Darren and I are just having a quick break, having some lunch. I can't believe how much gold is in New Zealand here. It's like every creek I go to, I have really good luck. For sure it's over nine grams, so I beat another record here in New Zealand. I'm not sure if it's gonna be over 31 grams, which is a Troy ounce, but man, you never know. You're awesome at sniping, mate. You've, you've teach me a lot. I'll have to get into it myself and get stuck in myself. Yeah, that's awesome, mate. So as you can see, there's cracks running there, over there, and over there, and this piece of bedrock and that piece of bedrock could get removed. And in this crack line is where we're finding all that gold. Darren's doing really good up here, and I'm obviously doing good in the water. But together, we make a good team. Isn't yeah. that right? <laughs> I carried on in the spot and continued to find a bunch of little pieces and even one piece that slipped and disappeared in a crack. I had to break it open to save its life. I just saw a couple nice nuggets and then they slid into the bedrock, so now I gotta open it up. Moo. Okay, so that was probably about a gram. I gotta take my glove off to grab it. <laughs> Another nice little nugget. <laughs> I'm so happy for your poly. Tip of the day. If you find some gold, that's a subtle indicator that there could be gold around. Knowing that exclusive information, I was able to find this little pocket of pickers. I just found a pocket of pickers. I went down a little bit deeper. Two more nice nuggets. Nugget one. Nugget two. Bloop. Bloop. I carefully looked for any more signs of life before carrying on my mission to rescue more gold. Or goats. Man, <laughs> that's funny. If you are able to remove loose bedrock in a spot where you are finding gold, I say do it, because chances are you will find more gold just underneath that bedrock. I just found another nugget! Wow! This place is awesome! And, of course, I drop it. The area I'm working is exactly like the last spot I found that big nugget. It's right beside it, facing downstream, but there's a lot more hard pack, so there could be a lot more gold. I think there's gonna be more gold. I just found all this really heavy ironstone in the spot I'm about to work. Let's hope there's something nice there. This area is in the center of the river, so it's very difficult to keep that camera still and work at the same time. Fortunately, my excitement to camera pointing ratios were good, and I caught this beauty. <laughs> another oh my god, another big nugget! Holy 
It's like when my excitement rises, my camera skills drop. Also super difficult to get a piece of gold out when the gravel keeps getting blown back in. Holy! <laughs> Look at that guy! Nice! That's gonna be maybe a quarter out. Holy! New Zealand is seriously ridiculous for gold. Oh my god! Wow! That a what a beauty! <laughs> Boop. And there's still another nice nugget down there. I'm really wondering if I beat my last record in the last video already. 38.6 grams. Maybe. I quickly evac that other piece out before it got buried again. Here's the other little nugget that was with it. This crack keeps going. Let's see if we can find more. Another little guy. Wow, this spot's awesome. I started to realize that the only way I'm going to be able to continue is if I ditch the camera so I can access the rest of this crevice with both hands. So where I'm lurking is right in the current and I can't film it because it's just too violent. I don't know what's with Paulie today, but he is absolutely on fire. He is just pulling the nuggets out there, one after the other. It's just awesome. I just got another one. And the nuggets just keep on coming out. Hopefully he's got over an ounce today already with any luck. Oh, it's little. It's still a nice little piece. What is happening? <laughs> I right, just pulled out these two little guys as well. I'm just about to run out of battery. Bloop, bloop. I just plucked these two little rock out. And it turns out they were nuggets. I, I am just so blown away. It feels like I'm in another dream. I'm pretty sure I just broke my record again. If you haven't already seen my last video, check it out too. Bloop, bloop. All right. <laughs> so both Darren and I are calling it a day. My GoPro battery died like nuggets and nuggets ago so i couldn't film the last little bit of that but hey that's a good problem to have and just like last time i'm pretty sure i found more gold than i've ever found before so if we can beat 38.6 grams of gold that's two records broken the most amount of gold i've ever found and the biggest gold nugget anyways that's enough talking let's go back to the house and weigh it all up all right so we're back at darren's place and i'm really excited for this weigh up so my last video i found 38.6 grams of gold and that is over half of what I found in all of 2022. Now, if there is an ounce or more of gold in this snuffer bottle right here, that means I found more than 2022's total amount of gold in only two sniping trips. Okay, so we're gonna... <laughs> There's gonna be some fly poop in here. So there you have it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So a lot of this gold I couldn't film because of the way I was just stuck underneath the rapids there. But as you can see, there's a lot of gold in here. But is it more gold than I found in the last video? Let's find out. So these two nuggets are already dried. But just like last time, we're drying the rest. All right, so before I weigh all this gold, I'm just going to show you what some of them look like up close. This is a nice one. It kind of looks like the small version of my foot nugget. I don't know what that's going to weigh. Another nice little interesting piece. It's quite flat. Looks like I got hammered by boulders. A few asteroidy pieces. I like these little pieces. They're asteroidy. And our second biggest nugget. That's got to be at least a quarter ounce, which is seven and a half grams. Pretty thick. Could be more. And of course, our big boy of the day. It's pretty thick. It's definitely going to be over nine grams. I'm not sure what it's going to weigh. I'm going to take a guess here in a sec. Okay, so our little foot nugget guy, I'm gonna guess one and a half grams. Oh, okay. 1.04 grams. The flat guy, 1.4 grams, how about? Okay, 0.84 grams. This isn't good, I'm uh, overshooting the weight. All right, let's just get to the second biggest nugget. What do you think this weighs, sir? That one? Yeah, take your oh, guess. Oh, I'd say seven. Seven Probably grams. Seven. If you pick seven, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna shoot low this time. I'm gonna shoot six. Okay. Okay, oh. 8.39. Yeah, wow, that's pretty good. Okay, well. <laughs> the, <laughs> the slug. The slug. What do you think that guy was? Uh, it's got to be. It's, do you want to feel I'll it go, again? I'll go 16.5. 16.5. Yep. If I can beat 15.9, I beat my cousin. And my cousin has the nugget I really want to beat. Okay, I'm going to guess. 
15. Oh my goodness. 16.27. Oh. Oh, pretty, pretty close. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that beats my biggest nugget. It almost beats it by double. And sorry, cousin. I don't want to say your name on here in case you want to uh, remain anonymous, but um, beat that. Okay. So all together, half an ounce. Whoop. Plus that. 24.64. Can I beat 38.6? Which is the gold I found in the last video. Let's do this slowly. 27.91. I don't know. We might not actually beat last videos. I'm not sure. 30.82. Okay, for sure. We're going to beat an ounce. I don't think we're going to beat 38. No big deal. I am not complaining at all. 32.47. Gosh, this is taking forever. I should have just put this in a piece of paper or something. But no, I like to make things difficult. Okay, we got paper this time. This should actually make it way easier. Let's see. Haha! <laughs> 35.04 grams over a troy ounce of gold. That is awesome. All right, so... This trip has been overwhelming to say the least. New Zealand continues to impress me. Now, not all creeks here in New Zealand are gonna be that rich, but it just helps having people like Darren and Rex owning these really exceptional claims that really make the difference. I'm just so grateful that they are allowing me to go out to some of these places and hunt for the gold and make videos like what we're doing. But I gotta say, when I get back home, I feel like I'm I'm gonna be a, diff a different person. The gold there is amazing, but it's not New Zealand amazing. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. If you like what you see and you wanna see some behind the scenes stuff as well, I do have social media platforms open for your pleasure and even a Patreon account where you can see some exclusive stuff like early release videos and some extra goodies. And like the last video, I oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and like the last video, if you haven't already seen it, you have to go subscribe to Abyss Dredging on YouTube. These guys, again, are legit. Thank you again so much for having me out. Where's mine? I am just so freaking, I just feel like this is a dream. The gold here is just absolutely exceptional, and I can't wait to go back and find more. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Until the next one, more amazing videos for you to check out.